Hi guys and welcome back to lesson 6 in our decimals topic. Today we are going to be looking at multiplying and dividing by multiples of 10, 100 and 1000. So all that means is multiplying decimal numbers by things like 20, 30, 500, 600, 9000, 4000 numbers like that. So you will be successful today if you are able to understand our steps to multiplying or dividing by these multiples of 10, 100 and 1000. So remember, we've done this before in our numeracy topic, so I'm just going to run through this quite quickly. In maths, if we are multiplying more than two numbers, it does not matter what order we are doing it in. So how could we do 5.6 times by 20? Well, remember, 20 is just made up of two lots of 10. So the way that I would tackle a sum like this is I would take my 5.6 and times it by whatever number is at the start of my multiple of 10, 100 or 1000. So in this case it's 2 and I'm just going to multiply it like we did in lesson 5 the other day. 2 sixes give me 12, so put my 2 down, carry a 1. Line up that decimal point nice and neatly. 2 fives are 10 plus 1 is 11, so I've got 11.2. But remember, we still have to multiply by 10. So I'm going to take a separate line or at the side. I'm going to do 11.2 times by 10. And if you remember from two lessons ago, when we multiply by 10, we are moving up a place value. Or we can think about it as moving that decimal place down one. So to make our number bigger, instead of it being 11.2, it's going to be 102. We don't really need to include that decimal after because there's no numbers. You could put point 0.0 but there's no real point to that. So I'm just going to leave it at 112. Some more examples then. So 4.8 times by 20. Well, I'm going to take my 4.8 and times it by 2 first. 4.8 times by 2. 2 eights give me 16. Line up my decimal point. Two fours are eight plus one is nine. So I've got 9.6. So that next line then is going to have to be 9.6 times by 10. So we are moving back one place to give us an answer of 96. For the second example, remember it doesn't matter what way round we do it. So that is really just the same as your 14. 0.29 times by 30. So I'm going to take my decimal 14.29 and we're going to times it by 3. Three nines give me 27. Three twos give me 6 plus another 2 is 8. Line up that decimal point. Three twos give me 12. Carry the 1. And three ones are three plus one is four. So 42.87. But again, we still have to times by this 10 at the end. So 42.87 times by 10. Well, we move that decimal point back one in between the eight and the seven to give us 428.7. For our answer there. Okay, so we're going to use the same idea when doing multiples of 100 or 1000. So I've got 3.14 times by 400. So 3.14 times by the number at the start, which is 4. 4 fours are 16. 4 ones are 4, plus that one is a 5. Line up my decimal. 4 threes are 12. I can fill that in as such. And then this time we are multiplying by 100. So I've got 12.56 times by 100. Well, if we moved one place back for 10, we've got to move two spaces back for 100. One, two. So it would go behind that six to give me 1,256. Next then we've got 600 times by 0 0.08. Remember, we can just swap them round. It means 
the same thing either way. So I'm just going to take my 0 0.08 and multiply it by that 6. 6 eights are 48, so we put our 8 down, carry the 4. 6 zeros are 0, plus that 4 is 4. Line up my decimal, and then 6 zeros are just 0. So 0 0.48. We are then going to take that 0 0.48 and times by 100. So we're moving that decimal point back to, and that is just going to give us an answer of 48. Realised I'm missing my equals signs back there. And for the last example on this slide, we've got 4.99 times by 7,000. So same idea, we take that 4.99 first. And we are going to times it by 7. Seven nines are 63, so put my 3 down, carry that 6. Seven nines again are going to be 63, plus that 6 means 9 down and 6 carried. Line up my decimal point. Seven fours are 28, plus that 6 is going to be 34. So an answer of 34.93 so far, because then we've still got to times that by 1000. So 34.93 times by 1000. Well, this time I've got three zeros. One, two, three. So we're going to have to move back three places. One, Two. So when I move back the third time, I've really got a zero in here. So my overall answer is going to be three, four, nine, three, zero to be thirty four thousand nine hundred and thirty. Same idea for divide. Then we are going to take whatever number is at the start and put that on the outside of our sum. So I'm going to put the two out here. I have 45.2 on the inside. Oops. So 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 5 twice but with one remainder. Oops. And then line up that decimal point, 2 goes into 12 six times. But we still have to divide by another 10. So our 22.6 divided by 10. Well, when we multiplied, we moved our decimal point back one space. So this time we have to move it forward one space to make that number smaller. And that is going to give us 2.26 for the answer there. Next then, I've got 15.47 divided by 70. So I'm going to take that and divide by 7 to start. So 15.47. So 7 can't go into 1 but it can go into 15 twice, carry the 1, line up my decimal point here. So 7 goes into 14 twice, no remainder, and 7 goes into 7 once. That means then that we've got 2.21 divided by our final 10. So we are going to put that decimal point back one space. So really we need to fill in a zero at the start, have our decimal, and then it's going to be 0 0.221 for our final answer. Again. Finally then, same concept with hundreds and thousands. So I'm going to start by drawing my division sum and we are going to divide by five this time. 6, 6, 3, 5 on the inside. So 5 goes into 6 once, carry the 1. 5 goes into 13 three times, carry the 1. 5 goes into 13 twice, carry the 3. And then 5 goes into 35 seven times. So now I'm doing 1,327 divided by 100. Okay, and finally then, it's just the same idea with our hundreds and our thousands. So I'm going to start by dividing by 5 on the outside. And 
and my 6,635 on the inside. Remember, our answer always goes in the top. So 5 goes into 6 once with a remainder of 1. 5 goes into 16 three times with a remainder of 1. 5 goes into 13 twice with a remainder of 3. And then 5 goes into 35 seven times there. Then the last thing we need to do is divide by our 100. So let's take our 1,300. And twenty seven. We're going to divide by one hundred, and our decimal point is really at, after our units, so it's down here behind the seven, and we are going to have to move it back two places this time. So one, two in between that 3 and the 2 to give us 13.27 for our answer. And again, I've forgotten my equal sign at the start, so we'll put that in. And that's our answer for that one. The next one then, I'm going to have to divide by 8 this time. So draw out my division sum, put my 8 on the outside, and then 66. 0.4. So 8 can't go into 6, but it can go into 66 8 times. 8 8s are 64, so that means I've got 2 left over. Line up my decimal points, and then 8 goes into 24 3 times. Last thing I want to do then is divide by my 1000. So I'll take that 8.3. Divide by a thousand and so this time our decimal point is going to move back three spaces. So one, two, three. So really I would have a zero in here and a zero in here. So that would give me my final answer of Zero point zero zero eight three. And that is you at the end of today's lesson. Really well done for sticking with all those examples, guys. As you can see here, I've continued with our chili ratings here. I expect everybody to be able to attempt questions 1 and 2 and most of us doing 3 as well. The only difference with 3 is that there's a mixture of times and divide in those questions. Question 4 is a wee bit harder. These are our context questions and this time it's a mixture of stuff we have covered today and stuff that we've covered over the last couple of lessons. So you might find that you have to look back at notes for the last couple of days work that we've done together. Give question four your best shot where you can, but one, two and three we should all be able to achieve today. Any problems, post a message in our Teams chat or send me a wee email and I will get back to you as quick as I can. See you in the next one.